because I this puts me at a really awkward position. And TLDR of that side was the unit leader freaked out, went on a massive rant, and then told me that this per, um, that they were shutting the community down. And I'm like, what? what, what? And I, I tried to talk this person out of it, but no. It it happened. And I'm like, uh, like I, I feel I felt bad about it. And then I thought about it. I'm like, this is all just dumb. But yeah, I, I can legitimately say an Astolfo, an Astolfo meme killed an Arma 3 unit. And I I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> like, I just, why? Just why? It's the internet, definitely. But why? <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. I didn't do anything. Like the only, like I didn't even post the meme. It was. It was just someone in TSB that just. It. It was a perfectly safe for work meme too. Like there was nothing wrong about it. Uh -huh. But oh my goodness gracious. Some people, I guess, are damn. Um, also, uh, s s really quick side note. Um, I just got a thing about Halo Insider, and I got invited to the new flight for MCC. But what is? What? There's nothing new coming out for the Master Chief Collection. Why the fuck did I get a, an email about this? I don't know. I'd, I'd pursue that after the stream. That sounds cool. But yeah, let's um, yeah, let's change the let's change the subject because now now it's getting a little cray cray. But you know, it, in TSB, we're not gonna censor free speech and shit about memes, especially. It just jerk yourself off. It's weird. Time. Let's get started about this. <laughs> Yep, uh, alright. This is a, this first mission is- I'm not deucing. This is commentary. Uh, mm -hmm. Red 4 is attacking, Blue 4 is defending. Uh, they need- no, we actually have it marked on map this time, usually we don't. So this yeah. This is the face, so actually know what's going on. Red 4 need to take the flag in the center at Hill 56, and then take it a bit more northwest to the flag capture zone, and hold no, it- I'm gonna keep having two fonts going for round one. Four, Screw it. and minutes. So that's gonna be- <clears throat> Excuse me. That's gonna be interesting. Um, I feel like once they, you know, if they, since it's all marked, I don't know if that's just for us or if that's for everyone, um, that pretty much getting to that point uh, in itself will wipe one of the two. So, teams. And I don't think we'll make it to that 10 minute. Uh, time. Usually, how it works is Blue 4 does not see where the capture zone is until after uh, Op 4 takes the flag. And in other cases, it's uh, the defending faction doesn't see where the attacking faction has to bring the flag until the attacking faction actually touches the flag here. So you're probably going to see a rush to the middle. Uh, hopefully it's leaned in Blue Force favor, but mm -hmm. the AO looks kind of even here. If anything, there's a slight advantage to Op 4 here because they don't have to go too far off road they can just stay on this msr here let me confirm this is an msr yep that is an msr because there's not a thick golden road uh excuse me line to indicate a major road so uh these uh big white roads are the msrs here but i see op four taking the flag and then trying to go with it so this is going to really throw blue four uh, through the loop here as they um, they're just gonna have to keep mobile and on their feet here because they're gonna go down to that flag site Op4 is gonna touch it and then they're gonna see where they need to turn it into and then they're gonna set up a small pseudo defense Around this Op4 building, but this is gonna be cool because we don't really see for the few capture the flag ops we get uh, Usually the battle is over before the flag is touched Exactly um, We've seen one really early on when we were just getting into it there was a great capture of the flag match where we were completely in the dark about how it all worked, but mm -hmm. it came down to literally like a one v three or something. These yeah. are one life was, rounds, yes. So and there's three so, um, uh, three different missions. Great, uh, but yeah, now things have kind of uh, evolved. Usually, uh, thing one side is killed off before the objective is completed, mm -hmm. which is just you know that's how it how it is sometimes. It'd be that mm -hmm. way. So let's go over our factions here. Op for our attackers are our standard EMR Russians. Uh, 545 weaponry, PKMs as their machine gun weapons, PKP as the squad automatic, uh, excuse me, machine gun team weapon, RPG 26s for the squad AT, RPG 42 for the MET AT. Who is that MET AT gunner? Because that can make the difference in operations. It is going to be. I actually don't see a Matt AT I'm gunner. Not seeing him either. I'm seeing uh 
Yeah, Charlie 2, which is that team. It's yeah, it's, uh... Galil, but they don't have... They have a machine gunner instead on Charlie 2, so they might have unscripted... I'm gonna... Well, is there a Charlie 1? Mm, no? So, uh, I don't think they filled up all the slots then, and it just got bundled yeah. into Charlie 1. Uh, and it's just... Maybe. Maybe the, maybe the commanders decided, uh, because they only really have trucks and Humvees, they decided that not to take the, uh, the mat. Yeah, so what this means is Nemesis is the Charlie 2 team lead, and Galil would be the Charlie 1 machine gunner, but because there's no Charlie 1 team lead, uh, he just joined in on their group. That's weird, because normally you're not allowed to take other team stuff uh, unless you have the lead element for it. So I think they just asked for having the machine gun team instead, but then why wouldn't they have just... Oh, there's Iander coming in with the AT. <laughs> yeah. All right, that makes it's sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so so that's that's what it is. That's Skip, why uh, brings in their uh, wild card Iander mm -hmm. um, for the uh, also known as the RPG God Jamshid, also known as the artist formerly known as a T5. Aye, aye, aye. But just just to give a reference, guys, uh, that RPG-42 is only effectively ranged up to 500 meters. Last week, Iander made a vehicle kill shot with that RPG at a higher elevation than the target at about 750 meters away, uh, yeah. round two EU uh, with that weird and James that Bond villain area. Yeah, it was... yeah, we saw his POV on that one too. It was a great shot. He sent but... me the picture of like right before he launched it. I could not see it. He was literally, he couldn't either. He was just basing it off of like where the tracers were coming from. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't shooting at him. So he was, he was able to make like a kind of steady shot, but still like God bless. Yeah, he um, he is very gifted with that weapon. Everything else, though, he's average on, but there's a reason you always see him in a Charlie 2 slot. So, yeah, he's just jumping around. But otherwise, let me check who the marksman is for X-Ray here. Catch? Yes, it, it is Catch, yep, with an SVD. All right. And also, uh, Red 4 have two BTR-80s. I actually have yep. CDF markings on them, which is interesting, but that doesn't make any real difference. It, uh, it doesn't so matter. A bit of arm up. Exactly. Uh, so they'll be able to use that as both transport and as a uh, punching force to uh, mm -hmm. get through. But, All right, uh, let's go over Blue 4. Yes, very quickly, let's do Blue 4, and then check out this AO. Change the music real quick. So Blue 4 are going to be your standard Marpat Woodland Marines. Uh, using 5.56 M4s, M16s, uh, M249 saws, with M240s as the uh, as the uh, level ball. machine gun. Some of them will have RPG, or sorry, not RPGs, um, M72 laws, and the Matt Gunner will have a M3 Carl Gustav in the hands of... Fonz, Fonzie here for with one RW. Yeah, I find it funny how we have two lines of infantry on the load road for Blue Four, and they're making Arma Jesus. Uh, I I don't even know. I I think this is a Milsim thing. Oh, yep. You ever seen? Uh, no, I'm not gonna say it. Never mind. I mean, the last time we saw Arma Jesus in a captured a flag mission, it was about a month ago. Wait, no, they're making him do push-ups. Yeah, or burpees. I don't. I don't know. But last time we saw Arma Jesus in a CTF, he won it for his team because he basically ran up, grabbed the flag, brought it to his guys, and he was picked off. But oh yeah, but no, because he literally like shed all of his weight. I don't think he even had his primary on his back. Uh, he like just ran in, grabbed it, and, and ran. Yeah, back. it was awesome. Yeah, he played a sacrifice play, but that won it for his group. I I don't even know what to say about this one, to be honest. Yeah, it, it is what it is. Hold on, why is the music but glitching gonna start loading up. Um, they, they have a bunch of transport trucks, which are the unarmored ones. You can tell because they have very wide windows. Yeah. And then they have two uh, Humvees with M2 machine guns and the LRS uh, laser system, which uh, is a nice little targeting uh, little little too camera loud. so they can uh, uh, kind of see sorry. it further. But they obviously got to change between the gun and the camera. Um, also, these Humvees... He's warming up. Um, ...are armored. You can tell uh, not while well, I'm um, shoutcasting with Barb, because otherwise we won't be able to hear nice each other. Silver lining inside. Otherwise, that's about it. They have some more some quad bikes for the X-Ray team, a few more uh, armored Humvees that are unarmed uh, for additional transport. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at this AO. That's it. 
So, starting at the flag zone itself, right here, Hill 55, it's pretty sparse. Um, this, it, the area itself is kind of in a little bit of a divot, but it, the terrain is relatively flat. It's not that much of a uh, steep, uh, and nothing really steep around it except for these rocks, obviously. Um, it itself mm -hmm. is a bit of a plateau, so it's, got, it's raised up a little bit. Um, but, for the most part, it's pretty well isolated. Uh, clearing is on the west, south, and eastern side. Uh, north side uh, it has its, the road going through it, but it is eh, moderately thick forest. We'll track no, side, but um, before we be the, approaching from. So the fill and up will be, be either tomorrow or tough, the day uh, after. Bargain for Red Four having to cross an open field somewhere, unless they're willing to uh, go all the way around and hit it from the north, which I don't think that'd be really feasible either. Um, so Are you talking about the uh, the capture zone? No, I'm talking about the flag zone itself. Like where gotcha. It? I, I honestly think they're just going to pull up to the damn site in a rush because they can see where each other's spawn is, and that's pretty even. So I would I would risk the truck rush, uh, especially... Well, actually, hold on. Hmm. Okay, no, I was like, where, where are Op Force trucks? They have two right here. So they can load half their force in these two trucks, the other half in the BTRs, and... Yes get them very that literally just right on top of that ao like, like 13 or 14 people inside and on top um so they they will have enough transport uh, mm -hmm. one way or the other but yeah they only really have those those two um gas trucks yeah she'll mention it after we're talking about this after we're done with this mm -hmm. yeah i think they're just gonna barely have enough transport to funnel everyone in because two btrs uh you can carry like two squads per btr because you can fit everyone inside and then a bunch more people on top uh, and then those two trucks can also carry about two squads each. So I, I don't think there's going to be a transport issue, but they're going to have to pack like sardines to get in. And just in case there is, you might see a truck uh, just drive back down the MSR and pick people up as they're walking through. But I, I think Off 4 is going to do a rush strat for this one. Uh, in terms of Blue 4, they have a bunch of trucks as well. Uh, let's see. Actually, we only have two. And then we have Humvees. So... Yes. So they, they should also have I, enough transport. Uh, those trucks can also... It's going to be that. close, though. Cool. It's going to be close. Uh, they should have enough. If not, then it's not going to be too wild yeah. of uh, the number of people who get left behind, I don't think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they fully packed the armed Humvees as well. They're getting into the unarmed ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're getting all loaded up. We'll see if they uh, have any um, any uh, people left over. Um, but no, I'm with you as far as the rush strat. I think with... Uh, yeah, right, oh, Lord. We... Um... We actually saw them saw them yeah, used uh, the NA, last round EU2. Kind of, you know, the, uh, some people are warmed up from mm -hmm. uh, EU. From EU, yeah. But, but uh, I mean, a lot of people who haven't played, the 29th ID guys, a uh, bunch of people who weren't here for EU, this is their first round. They're going to be getting warmed up. Uh, this would be a great time for them to, uh, to just rush them and don't give them mm -hmm. any time to, or give them as little time as possible to prepare and mm -hmm. set up defenses. So real quick, uh, just to answer two questions from my chat. One, Op4 has to go up and do a scroll wheel option, I believe, to capture the flag. And it's uh, either it plays a second line animation or it's instantaneous, I forget. Uh, it is skewed to Op4, but I would think by the time Op4 touches the flag, Blue4 is going to be boots on the ground and set up a good defensive line. But that's where the difficulty of this op is going to lie into is where how blue four is going to be able to defend even though op four has the numbers advantage so i will agree this is kind of skewed in blue four's favor but if they press their m2 humvees uh i think they'll be able to outmaneuver op four uh if they try to drive around so we'll just have to see how things go uh another thing real quick this is more of a, a psa but thursday night uh the Paw Patrol op I was doing and TMTM uh, both had some severe, uh, pretty severe server issues. Uh, there was a lot of coincidences going on, and people thought I was being like targeted by a DDoS. But the reality was, just a lot of Arma servers Thursday night were getting DDoSed in multiple communities. Interesting. So it was just one of those weird things that happened. Cause um, what was funny was someone came into my stream just before the Paw Patrol DDoS started, uh, trying to make me pay them in Bitcoin. Or else they quote unquote harass me. Uh, and then <laughs> around the same time, someone also uh, put a bot account in TSB and was trying to threaten the T5s to give them a team speak so they could talk. Otherwise, uh, they'd never see the server again. But it was very like a generic bullshit bot thing. Either way, um, like it was just a lot of coincidences that day. But after I talked with a few uh, other 
guys in different communities, uh, it was just a lot of servers got targeted by random DDoS uh, attacks from... I think yeah, the origin was India, but that's just how it works, so... That's so weird. Oh, yeah. wow. You, it's just coincidences. Uh, no, 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 no. I bet I know what it is. It was probably because um, the, the Tencent thing with Bohemia, how uh, they got like a 10% stake in the company now because... Oh, yeah. No, it's it's not that. That was, that was a while ago. Well, no, 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 because here's the thing. Arma server DDoSs aren't uncommon. Like, it actually happens from time to time, uh, just by service providers getting DDoSed. Yeah, that would be an explanation. Just Yeah, they're, they're not going to do that. Uh, you, you underestimate how petty pe people can be. All right, mission started. Op 4 is completely mounted up, and they're moving. A little bit of a misplay, though, because they're letting the go-karts go. Excuse me, not the go-karts. The quad bikes go first. I would have started with the trucks, but they're keeping the trucks in the back. This might buy Blue 4 a bit of time, but it looks like Blue 4 wasn't fully mounted. Yeah, no, they're not fully mounted. They can't fit everyone. So they're going to have to do a run with the, uh, some of those trucks and come back and pick up the 1RW guys. Yeah, I figured they'd have to get a group back, but at the very least, that Blue 4, the infantry should start running to the objective because they'd be able to meet halfway. Because well, Blue 4 has a big winding road to deal with here, and so I... The thing. We'll see yep. here. No, they're actually not turning left. I wonder if they're going to take the Humvees further south because they're faster and turn the truck. What the hell is Op 4 doing? I don't know if they, they see the flag capture zone or not. I think that might just be uh, an us thing. But well, what I, no, no so, so Blue 4 won't see the um, flag capture zone until Op 4 touches the flag. That's just how the rule works. But I, why is Op 4 bypassing the rush option? I, I don't that know. is a mistake. Exactly where they started, and well, here, well, what what are they doing now? And then the BTR is pulled off road, and now they came back to the MSR. But then they're gonna turn left up here at this fork. I can. I really don't understand why they're being cautious. They had the better distance to work with here. No, B Cosmonaut, uh, the, B the lead BTR is actually heading straight for the objective, and yeah, it's going to be close. But why wouldn't the uh, trucks the rush in if they're quicker? I, We've seen rushes done in this community all the time. Who's commanding Op 4? Okay, so... Uh, Tau from, uh, Mr. Tree from Tau. Wait, no, 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 no. That's, no, who's that's commanding that's Blue 4? I don't see a Blue 4 command at all. I see platoon leads. Mm, that might... Explain why they're having some trouble. They don't have to have an actual commander. Yeah, attendees for Tau is commanding for Red 4, but I'm not seeing the Blue 4 commander either. We just saw Op 4 uh, put some smoke grenades out, and now we got two Op 4 trucks right in front of a Blue 4 dismount. I... Is this supposed to be like no commanders? I... And just platoon leads? Uh... No, we got attendees commanding for Op 4. So where's Blue 4's commander? Oh, no, he's bundled into Charlie 2 on the bottom of the roster. Yeah, Pier yeah, yeah, no, that is Pierce. Okay. So, so it's Pierce versus uh, Tendies. Tendies I've never seen command before. Uh, Op 4 has a major dismount in front of four blue four guys, so we're about to have first contact right here, but this is a really weird strategy. Yep, there they go. Bravo 2 opening up. Yep. Quick. Head just dropped someone. Nemesis returning fire, getting the first kill for Op4 there. Uh, all right, a one-to-one -one trade. That's going to work in the attacker's favor because they're 10% up, but... Zenipalf just shooting wildly into the smoke, kind of giving up uh, his way to his position. And yeah, now grenades are coming back in return. Lots of fire onto the warehouse area where Kernshaw Montgomery are. That's 29th ID. And now... Cheese, Warlord, and Nemesis probably going to be pushed on the clean out. Grenade comes up towards Nem. Got Op 4's other truck dismounting. They're starting to go on Blue 4's back line here. Rocket going out. Oh, that might have just been a tracer. It looked like a rocket. I'm sorry. Mm. And Op 4 starting to try to insert the flag area. My guess is Op 4 didn't want to rush in because they didn't want to rush and then end up having to do a tip of the spear with only half their force because the other half would be lagging behind on the BTRs, but... They could have just taken it, pulled back with it, and then walked it through a forested area away from Blue Four's line and forced Blue Four to be mobile. I just. This is a really weird play out. 
It's, it's definitely not what I was expecting. And now you're about to have X-Ray come in behind uh, another blue four group here on the back line of the flag. And you got Echo for Op4 starting to move into the actual flag location. There's points of contact everywhere for this first round. It's definitely an interesting one. Lots of smokes going out on the road, but yeah, this is a pretty disjointed attack. I feel like the Red 4 guys off to the west don't know exactly how much they have here uh, bottled up in this. I can't get my roster to come up. Um, I'm assuming that Blue 4 is here because they think this might be the flag capture zone, but no, it's actually near where uh, Pierce is now. So they're trying to uh, be uh, proactive in this, but it's uh, kind of fucking them, uh, themselves over. Uh, Tao and uh, Tao Granny and, the, and their group over here have found Tarnfall in this long barn. Yeah, uh, they op four opened up on them as they were uh, mounting this barn, and the other group was coming out. Granny's now pushing, takes out the wounded guy as Dan is now returning fire and gets a headshot. Felix is a great drop on Mr. Pop Tart's the only one left. Felix with that 240. Big. One of the uh, Humvees is smoking because uh, BTR smoked it. Uh, AT going over it as well. BTR just uh, uh, fucking rocket just whiffed right past it, and they have not really reacted. So Delta for Op4 with Platoon 2 HQ starting to reinforce Echo on the flag itself. Uh, up for X-Ray in a little bit of trouble. They've done a lot of damage to Fox. As I say that, Matt Coro just mowed down. Excuse me, it was Hesse. Is that negative two kills for killing the rest of Up for X-Ray? <laughs> Noise. Cat is still alive over there. He's getting harassed by some uh, GLs. But he's got two to his name, so if he can keep it up and mm -hmm. punish them for this. He was able to get that um, MMG gunner down, but Wodan looking like he's, uh, he's he's got his eye on that 240 and he wants it. So, I mean, Blue Four's skull count is a lot higher than Op 4's. Actually, not a lot higher. It's, it's higher, but it's only by a handful. That's going to change in a second as these BTR 80s start getting some pickoff kills, but Op 4 is in a position to completely overpower Blue Four's line. Like, uh, what, what law for a machine gunner gets caught on the open and gets his kneecaps ripped apart by the big old 14.5 on the BTR? Yeah, I saw that. That was down by the MRAP there. Or excuse me, the Humvee that is smoking. That's pretty much a, a knob armor. It's a, a... Fuck yeah, the gun turret was. I do like how we have blue for Alpha 2 flanking around Guy Fieri, Kane, and Arma Jesus. Three of the best players in FNF right now. Uh, trying to move behind some of Op 4's units here. If they can get a good ambush in, those three players alone are pretty much at Scandi Recon's level, if not slightly higher from uh, the KD ratios I've been seeing the past few weeks. So they could do a good chunk of damage here. Firefighter looking for, uh, looking to move on onto the, uh, the flag. Nito picks the people up in his zombie, and he's... Uh, a lot of explosives at that flag, though. Yeah, they're, they're, tuck, they're chucking nades in there. Ooh, Satchel Truck goes off by Porter, sends him into the low orbit. Has the rest of them over here by Bastard definitely felt the pain from that one. Yeah, I see some blood on the ground. Meanwhile, uh, Blue 4, Alpha 2, getting a nasty ambush in, and they're timing it with Alpha 1. Uh, they're going to completely ambush and deliver some nasty infillating fire on Op 4's Alpha Squad. Uh... Blue 4 Alpha needs to be careful though. Alpha 1, excuse me, because they were just firing at Kane. But Arma G is about to get right behind these guys. Oh, right, here we go. Those push about to pay Gorski off. shot in the back of the head, but uh, Jesus stays still and eats PKM. I think he had a lag spike right there. I um, I, I kind of just cursed him there. I said, yeah. we're going to pay off, and then he took a half a mag to the head. All right, Kilbo has taken the flag. Kilbo Baggins. And... Yeah. Flag's gone, actually. It's not on him anymore. Explosive satchel thrown, I believe, by legal action, but it wasn't far enough to do any damage. Yep. If, uh, if King was in, excuse me, if Arma Jesus was the guy with the satchel and he threw one uh, from where he was, he would have gotten a lot more kills with that. Second one goes off again, really? Little, Gorski yep. He needed to be a bit closer, but he's making Gorski freak out and roll back. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they're, they're very much uh, suppressed right now. Um... Blue Force in a 
bit of a pickle here. They've got two major forces on both sides of their main force as they're now doing a pullback of their northern line, probably back to the capture zone. Mm -hmm. But Op 4's numbers are still very strong here. I was hoping that Blue 4's alpha ambush on Op 4 Alpha would have been a bit more devastating and allowed them to regroup to potentially go to the flag site or pull back, but... Instead, Alpha 2 for Blue 4 is getting picked off by elements of Op Fort Charlie, which is Nemesis. And elements of TSB and Scandi Recon. And they are catching Kane in a very bad position here. Yeah, him, Guy Fury, and Dylan not in a great spot. They're pretty much cut off. It all just depends if uh, Gorski's team up here can uh, lick their wounds and uh, push them back. But yeah, this is going pretty well for Red for a table. We're only 10 minutes into the round, by the way. This has been a very crazy 10 minutes. It's, it feels like more. I know, right? No, Blue 4 has been, uh, I mean, they got pushed back at the warehouses to the west. They got really pushed back around the flag. Now, that was a bit more of a fight, but some clever maneuvering and uh, some, uh, use of those BTRs. Uh, Guy Fury and Kane, cool. meanwhile, doing a push. Kane... Getting caught out of position and knocked out. Guy Fury was able to kill Gorski. Grenade going out. It's a smoke, though. Frag now going out instead. There, that's a good one. That Might like get bacon with that one. Nope. Ooh, no. Oh, yes, it is. A little late. Patriot trying to come around, though, but... We have uh, Bravo 1 with Op 4 Command and Charlie 2. All for Op 4 fighting with Montgomery Urban Dog 4. Urban Montgomery, really good players. I haven't seen much on Dog 4. Oh, Neris gets gunned down by Guy Fieri. Ah, sending him to get the shot. In the sky. He's sent five people to the Great Diner in the Sky. That is impressive. Patriot trying to get a shot on Dylan. Ooh, and Patriot, oh, Dylan. Him. You know, a good shot right there, but. Go for six in heaven for Guy Fieri there. Jeez. So, I mean, yeah, we got some Blue 4 guys getting some good multi kills here, but. I don't think it's going to be enough. Blue 4 doesn't have a lot left here. Compared to Op 4, they're starting to make a unified battle line at this point. Mm -hmm. But they Finally. definitely are maintaining this number advantage. Yeah, they're starting to pull back to the flag capture zone, which is going to be their best bet. Um, not a lot to work with here, uh, but they should be able to at least dig some trenches and build some kind of perimeter the time it takes for uh, blue for red four to push back uh, push past uh, the scrambling blue four but I mean just looking at the map there's not a lot of blue four left I think it's yeah really, uh, it, it is red four's uh, op to lose so op four is pushing their battle line right here, but they have the flag in the hands of Kilbo. Uh, and two fire teams moving with the flag and also Anderson, who is a, um, he's second platoon command. So I think Anderson's managing the flag's movement along the southern side to then go up the left flank as the main force continues to push. But I'm seeing another squad of guys being pulled back uh, and a BTR joining them. They might remount that BTR and follow up with the flag, but this is going to allow Op4 to continue to put pressure on Blue4 so less people can pull back and set up a defensive line. The fear, uh, though... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, I'm watching Combo try and spray at a distant Red4. However, looking at his first person, he's got his uh, iron sights right, but um, he's done the classic thing of assuming that the iron sights are where the bullets come out of, and no, they're actually bouncing off the, the rock in front of him, and you can see like all of them are just going into low orbit. Mm. The uh, one fear with op Force plan right now, though, is if they pull too many forces off of the line at once, Blue4 could do a retaliation attack, but... Mm. It looks like Op4 is collapsing their entire right flank here. It's because um, Gamma, excuse me, Echo and uh, Charlie elements were still in an active firefight with uh, Blue4 Alpha and some other scattered Blue4 elements coming back. Mm -hmm. So if Blue4, uh, let's say Alpha panicked and instead pushed forward to do a flanking attack on someone, they could easily catch that group out of position. But I think Patriot killed Dylan. Yeah, he's on four kills, just double-tapped Kane. And now he's taking fire from Blue 4 Alpha. 
Well, but I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I have a yeah. question for you. Where was the mistake? What was? Do you believe that there was a glaring error? Uh, it, it was just on the weird deployment of both sides. Uh, unbeknownst to Blue Four, though, they deployed in into Op Four's pincer maneuver. Op Four had a large force on the left, large force on the right. A small. Uh, they had X-ray come around to the northeast where Blue Four deployed an auxiliary squad uh, to try to cover the uh, flag from the northeast and also the two BTRs were to the southeast to basically cover the infantry coming up. Uh, Blue Four really fumbled on the start by not being ready to go when the op started. Op Four kind of fumbled as well, but it was also part of their plan to do a far deployment and move in. So Blue Four not being fast kind of hurt them as well, but well, uh, kind of. They, uh, the group in the middle that went towards the flag wasn't nearly strong enough. They yeah. uh, gambled definitely on, Ouch. on the west side of the AO by those uh, three warehouses where they had that big firefight and right around where first contact was had. They yep. were thinking, Blue Four was thinking that that would be... That's on negative like, one now. Actually a lot closer. Again, they didn't know that. It was a gamble uh, until they... Uh, until Red Four picked up the flag, but it just, I think it was more unlucky, really, than anything. Uh, both on the fact that they gambled in the wrong spot, and that Red Four yeah. the same idea, and Red Four brought, brought more people. Oh, are you kidding me? What? Okay, they got... Uh, so Blue Four has a Humvee on the southern side. It's uh, Blue Four X-Ray, and they drove out of bounds. And I thought they were actually about to kill themselves because if uh, you go yeah. in the black zone, yeah. you got like 15 seconds to get back in. Mm -hmm, something like that. And uh, we've got Matt Coro's BTR and Mountain's BTR trying to push Blue Four back. Uh, I saw Matt Coro's gunner, Hesse, redeem one of his two friendly fire kills by killing a member of Alpha One. Wait, he uh, had two friendly fire kills? Yeah, remember um, Op 4 X-Ray? Uh, that BTR sprayed the two people down by that uh, piece of cover. Yeah. That was that was pretty yeah, hysterical. Yeah. But uh, Blue 4 trying to now redeploy behind the flag to move in. But they're going to need a lot more than four people because Op 4 has completely redeployed all their forces to come up and follow oh, this flag. Look at this. Look at and they this. even have some Pathfinders going ahead to make sure that the area is clear. And it's... It's Tendi's leading that Pathfinder group. He's on two kills himself. He's oh yeah, he's leading for wow. The, um, no, he absolutely. He also picked up an M4, so he's going for the sneaky plays. He is. I mean, the ID game. That uh, that means he. Like, Sorry, go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say, like, yeah, they're, they're pathfinding, especially leading at the front. He's. I'm assuming that he's already given his orders. Yeah. And it's and it's it's a simple game from here. You just get the flag to the capture zone and. With how many kills people, I'm sure, have been reporting. Uh, uh, that, I can't give you an exact number. Uh, we just you know, rely on the skull information on the left. Just doing which, the math, as you can see, Blue Four is a lot uh, more dead. They don't have a lot of people, people left to fight. So he's willing to sacrifice himself. And actually, it looks like he might come up across Clown, Kanak, and Coda here. And I think, yeah, he's holding his trigger. Never mind, he isn't. He lined up a shot, knocks Coda out. Yeah, great spray down on Coda. But now we got Point Man coming around the flank here. Yeah, I'm, I got respect for Tendi's here. I mean, he gave his orders, as you said. He's now trying to go in and get some damage on because there's a lot of commanders that usually just sit off on the sideline mm -hmm. at the uh, edge of the map and not do anything. What Pierce is do has been doing, and that's not to say anything against him. That is a valid method of uh, commanding. Yep. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's been doing that, staying at the back. Um, Tendi's just bad for himself. Tendi's, Tendi's is, yeah. He just bad fragged himself twice because the grenades bounced off the tree, and now he's probably going to hide somewhere and try to do medical. But Point Man gets him in the back of the head. God. Oh, God, his leg. Oh, oh, God. Oh, that hurt to watch. Yeah. Now you got X-Ray trying to fire from the rear, but you have a mountain with his VTR coming up. <laughs> what? Yeah, get back to that Humvee and run, boys. Wait, was it the armed one or was it the unarmed one? Uh, an unarmed one, I believe. I could be wrong, though. It might have. It might have been armed. I don't remember, and I don't see it around. Oh, I see it. It's way off to their south. It is. No, that actually is the ar the armed one. It's the surviving one. So if they're able to uh, uh, see her and get back to it, they should have a chance. But I don't think any of them have a stick. 
Yeah, but the BTR is going to be, it's, uh, X-Ray doesn't carry any form of AT. Someone asked, what's the AT capability of uh, every group? Every squad has, uh, excuse me, every uh, fire team of like six people has a, a AT stick. So they got one AT shot and that means uh, there's two fire teams in the squad. So there's two sticks of AT per squad. And then the Matt team has uh, usually six AT shots, three on him and then three in his assistant. And that is the Charlie 2 group. So it's it's a good amount of AT because any one of those hits will more often than not cook off a vehicle uh, unless it's a really weak hit, which does happen, but... That's the AT situation. Yep. Ah, uh, Samuel, we'll see. Be able to lie low enough, but here comes Matt Coro in the other BTR. They're investigating this area, and yeah, all X-ray has to do right here is just lay low. They are locked to first person, and the optics of a buttoned-up BTR are not mm -hmm. great. I think... I'm. I did just see one BTR open up on one of the guys, though. But I'm gonna be honest uh, with you. Uh, uh, I think he, he thought he saw someone, but no, he actually didn't yeah. see anyone. So, so these BTRs are just gonna stall X-ray at this point because there's nothing that they can do. And uh, yeah. that's going to allow Op4 to keep maneuvering. But Op4, Op4 literally has like double the amount of infantry that Blue4 does. So it's it's going to be a very messy steamroll. We could see a clutch. Because, I'm hopeful, uh, but... They, they do have a decent defensive thing, uh, situation going on, but actually a lot of them are looking southeast. Not a lot of them are looking to the west. Where this big push is coming in from? Drake? Nope. He's, still, he's also looking to the southeast. Shots are opening up now. For whatever reason, Nutty Person decided to open up on yeah. Rafter there, who got spotted in the gap in the sheet metal. The issue with this building is that there is no hard cover. The sheet metal does not provide good cover to bullets. It'll reduce the uh, velocity of them, sure, and lower the damage, but there, there's no hard cover there. And there's also a big hole for the Grenadiers to fire GL rounds inside. I think that the base level... You got a rocket going in as well. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. they're hitting the front Humvees. Yeah, I, I think that first level, that thicker kind of concrete looking material, that should be uh, hard cover, but everywhere else, especially yeah. up on top of those rafters, is no brain. BTRs are pulling away from X-Ray. They're starting to come in on the front line. There's a few infantry uh, that have been deployed to kind of halt that, uh, halt X-Ray's advance if they keep moving up. You also got a few elements of Op for X-Ray. I think it's just one guy with Patriot. Uh, they're meeting up. Patriot on four kills. He's uh, the surviving member from Alpha One. Gets picked up. They're going to get on a quad bike. Probably attack this area from a different angle. But this is only half of Op Force Force. Looks like they're trying to maneuver Charlie Two to come in from the direct south as this attack from the west comes in. My potential. Hmm. But I mean, Actually, yeah. Yeah. when the BTRs get here and start suppressing with that 14.5, it's it's going to turn this entire building into Swiss cheese. The penetrating factor of that 14.5 is, is easily going to get through that sheet metal. And even the 762. Hey, yeah. Ross, thanks for the 23 month resub. Uh, definitely more that 14.5 for, for just piercing through and coming mm -hmm. out the other side clean. Uh, Raskatoma is the last man of his team way out to the south. Um, he was with uh, Zinnipel and Wiki and Platoon 2. Uh, yeah. He, um... Yeah, he's kind of off on his own. I think he got spotted because I'm seeing him bleeding out a little bit. But yeah, Charlie 2 now coming in from the south side. Uh, Montgomery reaches the building itself. Bilbo is not too far behind. Sorry, yeah. Bilbo, not Bilbo. I made that joke earlier. But um, no, Montgomery, he's uh, knocked on the door, asking if anyone's home, if they want to uh, you know, learn more about their, their if, little savior. If Porto and Warwick get up there and throw a satchel charge in, they can collapse the entire building. Uh, it could be a cusp. It, it could, but an enclosed area with a satchel charge in it isn't going to do Blue for any favors. Oh, fuck no. But neither will Montgomery running up the outside staircase up that scaffolding. Yeah, he's going to start picking off people from the top floor. He's he starts with Chris. Yeah, he's going to get spotted out. Get, I know he's not able to get to scare the kill on Chris. Hey, he's firing at Tech, too. Yeah, and he's not able to do anything. Yeah, Chris doesn't even realize what's going on as Montgomery now goes down the steps. Yeah, I think he got stuck on something. Rupert didn't even notice. Montgomery goes back up with a fresh mag. Yeah, Chris Chris is Chris is medicating, so... And Chris gets headshotted. Yeah, he, he takes his time, gets a clean shot. Uh, doesn't really recognize Tech moving around still. Yep. He's now going to go for Kernshaw. Gets Kernshaw. Oh, now to Wooden. And gets Wooden. That's 
What? They've all pulled back. I just realized they all pulled back to the north. I guess they're planning on doing. They're gonna maybe do a count. Yeah. That's all. I can now there's him firing at Tekkit. Though Montgomery didn't get that kill, someone else tapped it. Yep. And that. Nope. There's his fifth. Yeah. So. So Montgomery basically got behind Blue Four and took them all out. Ouch. And yeah, Blue Four, as you said, is to the north, trying to come back in on a different angle, but they're gonna be caught out of position. Uh, the flag bear still hasn't been pushed in yet. All right, Maz round. That was. That went into the BTR, but did not cook it off. It did it even hit? Damaged. Coro, he's trying to that. There's the second one. Now it's smoking, but that shot detonated. Next to Coda, knocked him out. Gonzo's playing dead. There it goes, cooking off. Sideways needs to get out of there. Matt hops out. And um, Sideways ran out of ammo. Matt pulls out his pistol. He isn't able to secure the kill. But that BTR cooking off it should catch Sideways out. And yes, it does. Sideways is hurt, but it doesn't kill him. Other BTR is popping smoke to cover the flag bearer. As he is now, actually no, he's a little further up. Uh, we're gonna see 10 minutes called in a second. X-Ray still in play here for Blue Four. Mm -hmm. I, uh, the numbers advantage kind of lessened up for Opor. It's still significant, but there's a lot here. But uh, we'll see. Uh, the fact that they're that they're um, ace in the hole, this kind of um, counter push is being fired upon already. There goes, I think that was Kanik. Uh, Gilbo's inside the capture zone, but it's not counting that timer down. Uh, I think he needs to drop it or something, but he is definitely in there at about 41 minutes, maybe a little bit beforehand. So we'll keep uh, we'll keep a mental timer if not if one doesn't happen. Caspi is pointing. Oh, Caspi is using Kilbo as a step tool. We got X-Ray firing from the rear. Uh, Swola just knocked out Cool Breeze. Here comes Mountains, BTR. Where's that AT? Where's that Maz Gunner? I'm not gonna lie, I don't see him. Yeah, it's left. I don't see any AT on Blue 4. No, I think the Maz Gunner got clapped. You got Dreek coming around, he just knocked Coda out. Gonzo's trying to line up a shot. Oh, uh, four Blue 4 left over here. Poitman is a combat engineer. If he can, uh,. YOLO run a satchel charge underneath that BTR, that'll do what, it. What, Pointman? But, yeah, Pointman. Hey, that's gonna be risky. If he gets up, he risks uh, getting shot there. Gonzo, meanwhile, picking up Drink as he came around. Kodo wakes back up. You have six people on the northern side. There's the flag capture timer. They dropped it in yeah, the corner. Dropping it his own. And you got Op4 turning around, engaging some of Blue 4 X-Ray as they come in. Mm-hmm. Nemesis flanking around the rest of TSB and Scandi Recon falling behind. Mountain just double tapped one of the blue four guys. Lurch turns around and panic fires. Gets a shot on Nemesis, but Ooh, yeah. Nemesis returns fire. No, I think this is it. Oh, oh a great grenade, but it doesn't knock him out. There's only about a dozen people left for blue four. Grenade thrown back on Lurch, and he turns around to get mowed down by the 762 of that BTR. Scanny only on three kills, but not to their own fault. Uh, they they just, I don't think they saw a ton of contact, and they didn't get a ton of chances to really Koak now shooting at Eander, manages to kill him, getting some shots on Lolo as well. Lolo doesn't know where they came from. Yep. Point man still hiding underneath that tree. Nemesis getting another kill. CR is moving. That is close enough for point men to throw a satchel, but... The issue is, are they going to be able to get away, though? Yeah, well, that and it's got to be a stationary target. You can't attach it to it. It's, it's throwing like a grenade. It's got about a five-second timer once you pull it. Come on, boy, man. Do what you were born to do. He might not have satchels. Maybe. He might have put them down by the, the yeah. flight, uh, start area. That could be it as well. Oh, Koak do, however, firing at Nem and Patriot. Might have just given away their spot as you yeah. see Montgomery now firing into that tree. Koak runs away, but Nemesis sees Poitman still crawling around the bottom of the tree, I think. Koak goes down. No, wait, he's still up. No, he's up. He just feigned death right there. Yeah, he's, he's feigned death so hard, the system thinks he's dead. There he goes. I've seen him popping it out a little bit. 
Yeah, you're never gonna get the desire to live in video games, even in one life scenarios. Uh, Patriot runs out in the open, and he's saying, "Hey, no, friendlies over here, stop firing." Oh. They just knocked the tree out, and Gonzo's now a little exposed. Patriot runs past point men. She's so hard and sent it to hell. Yeah, got <laughs> playing dead. Seven and a half minutes left. Quarter of the time gone. Uh, yeah, I think it's 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 done for. Razkatola tried to make a play, but got dropped. I think by Warlord or Martin immediately. No, yeah, he came from the rear. Got the BTR now firing at Swole. Appointment man picking off Lolo. Grenades are being thrown in mass on the fucking BTR. I think they're trying to pop the tires, but yeah, Gonzo just picked off Patriot, and Gonzo is again playing dead. <laughs> With that blood next to him and how he's bleeding, that's not too bad of an idea. But still. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh. 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 He could smell the rubber. But Patriot might not be fooled. Patriot isn't buying it. Patriot Patriot's not buying it at all and he taps him in the head. Oh my god. Bassbeard running up to where Point Man's tree is. But he went the other way where Point Man was hiding. He didn't see him. Yeah, I, I'm. Oh, but Patriot's looking back there now. Patriot's healing up. Yeah, healing. Point Men's crawling up as well. Yep. But Patriot. Oh, trade. trade. Nice. Mountain wow. picks off Edwin. Yep. Ash is firing back, trying to shoot the viewport out. Actually gets a lot of good hits. He might have just shot the. No, no. The, the viewport glass is still. Yep. Ash having a lot of shots going over his head. That's that's the uh, glass shattered a little bit. Mountain on four kills in that thing. I, I will say the BTRs, I haven't seen op four BTRs be this effective in an op in a very long while. But that just shows the AT just really wasn't uh, I don't wanna say it was underutilized, but I think they just got unlucky again, just yeah. unlucky and their AT guys have oh, been mountain been circling. One out. Ash is in trouble as Mountain tries to get a fifth kill. Firing a little overhead as uh, Ash plays right around the Rosie. Hard place, literally. Oh, Mountain isn't having it. He is not having it. I, Ash should just like drop his gun and just stand up and surrender. He's the him and Swole are the last two remaining. He's trying. Ash He's is, trying so hard. Oh, I think Mountain saw his feet. Yep. The toe picks. Wheaton trying to double tap Edwin with a pistol from a ways away. And Mountain turns the gun away. Oh, he's gonna go finish this one himself. He's like, no. And him. Ash tries to sight the gun up. And <laughs> Ash just let it happen. <laughs> Ash just let it happen. He, he knows he's done. He no, no, he shot the M203 at him. He shot the four. Oh. <laughs> Off of him because it wasn't in the minimum safe farming distance. Oh man, see, I, I wish we had a coding for that because if you got hit by a freaking 40 mil, that would knock you down. Like, that thing's a it big hurt. fucking ride. It definitely hurt. And like, I would say for Ace, have it about, about a quarter of the speed of like a normal bullet. Yeah, is a blue four completely eliminated. Round one GG going to off four. Off four, even though the plan was really un uh, unorthodox there, they just steamrolled that thing. But that was that was to be expected with that round. But yeah. there goes the first round.